I've tried so hard to sell this. I've been trying for two months to sell this on Kijiji, see if anybody could like want it. It's Hey there my handsome and pretty little cobras and welcome back to the cobra's nest for those of you who are new my name is mignon cobra and i make minimalism videos today's minimalism video is going to be what is in my decluttering box and come declutter with me so without further ado let's just get into the video let's get it let's go <laughs> okay so i have my decluttering box oh my god i'm so out of breath getting this thing so my decluttering box is essentially things that like I put in here for like a month or so to make sure I don't have any decluttering regrets and pretty much it's like the pit stop before things that I have go to like donations or whatever or pass it along. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I have inside, inside my decluttering box. I swear to God, nobody texts me. Absolutely nobody. You guys know I don't talk to anybody but will, but I start filming and people just crawl out of the woodworks. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you guys things that I'm gonna be decluttering in my box. So let's start off with, all right. Okay, so the first piece that I have here is this little bralette that I made. So the first piece that I have here is this little bralette that I made myself. Really cute, very like aesthetic and whatever, but I don't really like wearing it. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't pay for this. I made it, but uh, thank you. Next. Next thing that I have is this Herschel. It's brand new. I just bought it and the metal smells terrible. I don't know where everyone's talking about like Herschel's amazing. It smells so bad. It's like, it's like rusted metal. So brand new. I'm going to be passing this to donation. Somebody else can use it. I was going to, I was originally using it as like my purse here. So you guys have seen in pictures, but it's just not worth it. Every time I touch the zipper to like zip it, it just smells like metal and I just can't and I'm sorry, like my life's too short for me to be washing my hands every single time I, I open a zipper. Next thing that I have are these shorts. I have worn them to death. These are my house shorts. Oh. No. Oh my gosh, is the phone okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, my camera fell and just ended itself. Oh my god. Alright, so the next thing that I have are these shorts and I'm gonna be letting them go. Thank you. Goodbye. Next shirt that I have is this oversized tee that's from Taiwan. And as much as I love Taiwan, I realize I don't like things that look kind of branded. So you can see here that this shirt says Taiwan and when you put it on, it kind of looks like a brand and I hate that. It's just so not classy and so you guys can see like my vibe is really like aesthetic and minimal. I just can't. This just looks... This just screams cheap and low self-esteem. The next thing that I have is also this cute little shirt with little bunnies and it's oversized and as much as I like it and it's beige and it was something that I copped and I loved a lot and I got a lot of wear out of. Worn this for about like over a year, two years now, all of 2020 and all of 2021. But I don't like these little rabbits. I don't like print on my stuff. It's just so childish. So thank you, goodbye. Somebody else can get wear out of that. The next thing that I have was a gift and it's a bubble tea shirt. It's like a crop top shirt. It's a really pretty beige and even the color aesthetic is something that I really like. But unfortunately, I just, I don't gravitate towards it. I think like again, print looks really childish and I'm just not about that. I much prefer something more elegant. So these are a definite letting go. I've held on to them and thought about them for over a year and I'm like ready to let them go. Okay, and the next things that I have in here, I'm gonna be showing you guys, are pieces that I've worn out to death. So these little pink shorts, I've worn these out to death. I can finally let go of them. Thank you, goodbye. I don't like pink things. You guys saw in my last declutter, this was in there. I still brought it with me, as you guys have seen. Even I struggle with letting go of items, so thank you, goodbye. Next one is these, I guess they're kind of like a brown, look at olive beige, and I don't really like wearing olive beige. I don't like olive beige. I don't like it. It's kind of like an olive green. I don't like green. Even though I love beige and I love natural colors, green is just not one of them. So I've worn this for two years. Thank you. Goodbye. Another color that I discovered I dislike is brown, especially orange brown. Orange brown is such an unflattering shade on me. As comfortable as these are, I do like wearing them a lot. I hate the color. So I'm going to pass these on, let somebody else wear these. Next shirt that I have is a beautiful pink shirt from Uniqlo. It's a dress shirt. I love wearing dress shirts, but I just don't like pink. So thank you. Goodbye. Another color I discovered I hate is gray. I hate gray. I hate all shades of gray. 
that sounds terrible. Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't like grey. This is actually from Muji and I love it and it's very comfortable and it's very minimalistic and technically this actually would and does fit my aesthetic and I thought long and hard about letting it go but I don't like wearing it. Like I just don't. So I'm not gonna make myself wear it so this is a maybe. Blasphemy. Mila, you wanna come in? How do you hate gray? You wanna come in? No, I'm great. Okay. Okay, next thing that I have are these pants. They're plastic and the material doesn't give and I fluctuate way too much in, in weight and it's also brown. So two reasons why I'm letting this go. One, it's brown. That already makes me not want to wear it. Two, uh, I, it, the material is really tough and I fluctuate a lot in material, so material. I fluctuate a lot in weight, so I don't want pants that are not forgiving. It's just so uncomfortable when I'm like thicker. And I don't want things triggering my ED, so thank you, goodbye. Another pair of pants. These, the shape doesn't flatter me at all. The shape is very awkward. And in addition to that, it's brown. So I already don't reach for it. So I, I got a lot of wear out of it the year that I did buy them before I realized I didn't like brown. I'm not worried about letting these go. The next thing that we have is a hoodie that's gray. It has like a gray, it's a, it's a gray hoodie that I bought from Uniqlo. And I don't like hoodies. I hate things being like on the back of my neck. I tried to go for that hype bay like masculine vibe. I don't like that vibe. I tried it and I don't like it. I don't feel cool. I don't feel like that vibe. So I'm gonna be letting this go. Yeah, it's just I don't like hoodies. I have a lot of hair and having a hoodie, it's too much around my neck. I feel like I'm choking. Okay, the next thing that I have is Again, another gray piece. I really don't like gray. This is also from Muji and it's oversized and you guys have seen I've worn it to death. I wear it in like every other picture on my Instagram. So I'm gonna be letting these go. I would love to sell these but unfortunately I don't have access to like Depop and all of those things. At best I have Kijiji and I don't know what's good with Kijiji but nobody buys my stuff on Kijiji. So I have unfortunately come to the sad realization that my stuff, if I'm not gonna use it, I can't make my money off of it. I'm just gonna have to give it away to donation and see it as like me passing it forward. The next two things that I have are two books that I have read to death. You guys can see how like dog-eared they are. They're the only two books that I own and I might keep them, I may not, but I don't know. They're just really good books. They are like the center points of my life. One is leading a very decluttering life and the other one is the life-changing magic of thinking big. So it's tough, it's tough. Maybe I might buy the e-copy so I don't have to have the physical copy anymore. And the last thing that I have is a bag that was a gift. This is a gift from Will's mom. It's brand new. It still has a tag on it. Uh, where's the tag? I've tried so hard to sell this. I've been trying for two months to sell this on Kijiji, see if anybody could like want it. It's very beautiful. I love everything about it. Everything about it except the color. I don't wear red. I don't like red. You guys have seen I have decolored countless items that are red. So yeah, I'm gonna try one more time to sell it at like a consignment store and hope for the best because honestly, I don't like it. <laughs> I My favorite colors to wear for like bags is like beige and black. I'm very picky and as a minimalist, I'm allowed to have very, like I'm allowed to be that picky because I don't have a lot. That is my decluttering box. I hope that this inspired somebody else to be more responsible with their declutters. You don't have to rush out and get rid of everything right away. You can definitely try having like a box and see if that helps a lot or at least helps with the process that like maybe you're not kind of sure, you're not quite sure, put it in here. I completely forgot about these items and yeah, if you do remember a piece, you can always go back and take it out of the box. But if you really truly don't remember, then uh, just see it as like passing things on if they're in good condition. Somebody else can get used out of it. Hopefully you donate it responsibly, sell it responsibly, so it doesn't end up in a landfill. But yeah, thank you so much for having taken the time to watch and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.